Joe. Sure. Hello, Kelly here again. Kells Aquariums. As you can see, this tank did have water and wood in it. Ooh, now I am. I've got loads of new swag. I'm just about to paint the back. As you can see, I've masked it all off. A bit of frog tape and a bit of standard masking. So I'm just going to paint it with some acrylic paint, which is just standard, like, uh, craft acrylic paint. So it's black, got all my action. As you can see it's real busy on here. We got some new new gear for my CO2. But I'll go through that later. Yeah, I'm just using a bit of that from the range. Just the quickest place nearby. Got a roller. I'm gonna start doing it. I'm using a spongy roller. Just a sponge one, as opposed to one of the fluffy ones. Now you could do it with both, but you just get a bit better. It seems to cover better and go on better acrylic paint with these spongy ones. So I'll let you see it in a minute when I've had a go. Covered in paint, hating it. So, as you may see, there is a full painted back on my uh, thing. It's a bit, it's a bit textured. <laughs> Has it been uh, what's its face? Acrylic paint. So I'm going to turn it back round and have a look at it from the other side. And then that's that done. That just needs lifting upstairs to its base. When I do the rest of it, so I'm about to do a filter on my goldfish tank. I'm swapping a <coughs> JBL Crystal Profi 1501s going back on it. And I'm taking the EAM Pro 4. So I'm going to run two of those on this tank. So... Should all be good, so what do you say? Hopefully see. Just a black background on the uh, on the tank. So that's that bit done, I say. Now I've got to go and do some filter changing or other. And fill a giant 300 litre tub up to actually put my little fishes in. So should should be moving fish tomorrow if I'm uh, lucky. And then a couple of days I'll have them back in here. Thanks for watching.